How did Donald Trump get so rich? Donald Trump, right? The 45th US President of the United States of America. Now, if you look at other presidents like Joe Biden or Barack Obama, they have $57 million in total, which is not even 2% of Donald Trump's revenue, 3,100 million. The closest any president could get to Donald Trump's revenue is George Washington with 500 million, which is 17% of Donald Trump's net worth. Now, what did Donald Trump do that made him earn so much money? Earned him so much that now he is one of the richest presidents in this planet Earth. This video will be full of his money secrets. Watch till the end or you're gonna miss out. Trump claims to have more than $10 billion, but Forbes stated that his net worth is around $3,100 million to $4,300 million. Mr. Trump dismisses all these lower figures, saying he's worth much more. The main reason for these widely differing numbers is that so much of his and business holdings are private. Now let's talk about what made him so rich in the first place. It all started with his real estate, this being on the major part of his revenue. Mr. Trump's first big project was the Commodore Hotel, which he partnered with the Hyatt organization to buy in 1976 for an undisclosed price and renamed the Grand Hyatt. At the time, many buildings in Manhattan were facing foreclosure. The Commodore itself owed $1.5 million in debt and New York was not seen as the luxury vacation spot it is today. Using the negotiating skills he talks about so shamelessly on the campaign trail, Mr. Trump convinced New York City to give the hotel a 40-year tax break that saved him $160 million. In 1996, he sold his half of the hotel to Hyatt for $142 million. He would continue to invest in and develop grand New York buildings, including buying the Plaza Hotel and the former Bank of Manhattan building. The company's crown jewel is the 58-floor Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue, completed in 1983. The building is still the headquarters for the Trump Organization, and Mr. Trump and his family live on the building's top floors. Trump is also known for loving golf. He currently owns 17 golf courses, which is a big part of his real estate investment. But how did he get started? As you know, real estate business takes a lot of money to start with, right? Actually, it came from his family. His father, Fred Trump, was a genius realtor too. The front runner told voters that his father gave him a small loan of $1 million to get started, which is why he also faces massive internet trolls later in his presidency era. Trump not only got his financing, but his business style from his father. Fred Trump started a million dollar residential real estate business in Brooklyn and Queens. He was known for building quality. Many of his buildings are still standing and pinching every penny possible. He typically came under budget on government funded projects and pocketed the difference as a profit, a practice that though legal, got him called before Congress. Fred Trump never saw a tax break he didn't take advantage of, and Donald was at his elbow learning, says Gwenda Blair, author of The Trumps. To be exact, real estate acquire more than 50% of Trump's net worth. Commercial real estate, $1.2 billion. Residential real estate, $148 million. Hospitality, $38 million. Hotel licensing and management, $42 million. Golf courses, 217 million. Other properties, 295 million. Cash, 160 million. Donald Trump may claim to be a real estate mogul, but the bulk of his net worth comes from his brand value, which he began building in the 1980s. The young businessman did regular TV interviews and was vocal during the 1988 Republican primaries. In the 1980s, the Trump Organization began to license the Trump name to other companies, accelerating its prominence globally. Today, many Trump brands pay licensing fees to use the name and are not owned by the Trump Organization, including the Trump Ocean Club and Trump Fine Foods. Donald Trump's brand had a boom when he was selected as the president in 2016. 
Having built up his reputation as a formidable businessman, Donald Trump became the executive producer and star of NBC show The Apprentice, which debuted in 2004. Excellent ratings didn't just make Trump a household name, it also paid well. The host reportedly made $427 million, 276 million euros in earnings, endorsements, and licensing from the show's 14 seasons. Vast majority of his revenue also comes from controversial foreign ownerships. Mr. Trump's dealing outside the US can be as controversial as his campaign rhetoric. He has called the Chinese cheats, but brought in Chinese investors to help finance his project on New York's West Side rail yards. Mr. This Trump and his Johnson. investors eventually sold that <laughs> land for $1.8 billion. He says he loves Scotland, where his mother was born and where he owns several golf courses, but criticized the Scottish government and UK courts for allowing a wind farm to be built within view of his Balmadee golf course in Aberdeenshire. Trump gets hated on a lot. Even when he was on the elections at 2016, he wasn't even the favorite. Basically, to be really honest, people doesn't like the term money and directly or indirectly view it as evil. That shouldn't be done. If Trump was evil, other millionaires like Robert Kiyosaki wouldn't say he is a pure genius. Trump and Kiyosaki wrote a book named Why We Want You To Be Rich, which tells us the problem with our mindset. Kiyosaki also mentioned in that time how genius Trump is with his psychology with money and Kiyosaki was later proved right when Trump made the country's economy go higher than ever during his presidency. I live in a condo, but just as Mr. Trump's house will do. <laughs> and it is spectacular. You know what I mean? And it's... I, and yet I, I, I don't need that, right? Yes, I, I don't. I don't need that. If I had one nice bedroom with a good television set and a nice right. bed and... You don't really need that, but it was in a building I built, right. and it was there for the taking, so I figured I might as well do it. And right. what have I done? Instead of selling the equivalent of 12 or 13 units, I kept them. And by keeping them, I have them. Right. I didn't sell them, and that's okay, and it's become you know a very valuable place. So um, I didn't need that. I don't need it now, but there's something nice about it. Right, and then that's my message is achieve it and then you can take it or leave it. But if you don't achieve it, then it's always something away from you. So again, that's why I'd be redundant about this, living below your means. I don't think that makes your spirit happy. Mm -hmm. It kills your spirit. Also, if you don't have the financial education, when somebody says your house is an asset or these mutual funds are good or the stock will go up, and you don't know the difference between a good investment and a bad investment, because real estate can be a bad investment, Absolutely. stocks can be a bad investment. If you don't know good investment advice from bad investment advice, then you're gonna get taken. Even though he was a good president in terms of economics, he was one of the most disliked presidents in the history of the US. Trump can also be called as the real estate king in the American real estate business. Wanna know more secrets about celebrities and how they earned money? Stay tuned with Billionaire Life.